when an object is thrown vertically upwards it goes to a maximum height when its final velocity becomes zero and then it freely falls towards the earth due to earth's gravity time taken by that object to reach the maximum height is called time of ascent similarly when an object is dropped from a particular height it freely falls due to earth's gravity and finally reaches earth time taken by that freely falling object to reach the ground is called time of descent what is very interesting is time of ascent is always equal to time of descent in this video let us prove that time of ascent is always equal to time of descent through a small derivation let us begin with time of ascent that is when an object is thrown vertically upwards when an object is thrown vertically upwards it is thrown with an initial velocity u acceleration is negative why because while going upward the object decelerates because it is going against the gravity of earth the final velocity has to be zero why because at the maximum height the object's final velocity becomes zero and then it takes a free fall we will use the first equation of motion v is equal to u plus gt since final velocity is zero so zero is equal to u this is negative so minus g and this time is called time of ascent time taken by the object to reach the maximum height transposing this we will get g t a is u and finally time of ascent is uh, calculated using the mathematical expression u by g in case of a freely falling body the body is falling through a maximum height so distance traveled by the body is h max since it is freely falling body it doesn't have any velocity of its own so initial velocity is zero and when it is falling towards earth it is accelerating so acceleration due to gravity is positive now we will try to find an expression for time of descent so we are going to use the second equation of motion which is s is equal to ut plus half gt square distance traveled is a h max initial velocity is zero so zero times anything is zero plus a half g t square and t is a time of descent so t subscript d now on cross multiplying we will get twice h max by g is a time of descent square ultimately the final mathematical expression for time of descent is root over of twice h max by g so this is the mathematical expression that should be used when we are going to calculate a time of descent now we were proving that time of ascent and time of descent are same for that purpose we have to find the value of h max so we will use the third equation of motion that is v square minus u square is a 2 gs but here i am writing h max final velocity when we write s as h max an object when it reaches the maximum height its final velocity has to be zero so since i have written s as h max final velocity has to be zero and uh, g has to be negative so this expression is minus u square is a minus 2g h max and from here minus cancels twice h max twice h max is uh, u square by g so in place of twice h max we will substitute u square by g so time of descent was a root over of twice h max by g and in place of twice h max we are going to substitute u square by g so u square by g and one more g is there in the denominator so it is a g square so finally the mathematical expression for time of descent is also u by g the square root cancels with the square so time of descent is also calculated using the formula u by g earlier we proved that time of ascent is also u by g so time of ascent is always equal to time of descent time of ascent is measured using the formula u by g time of descent is calculated using the formula root over of 2h by g or u by g that we understood through this derivation so 
time of ascent and time of descent are always the same.